The pre-veterinary program is a concentration at Ferris for the biology program. Basically students come in and they can be um, a biology student, um, which is their major, but their concentration is in pre-vet. So, um, so they have a couple extra classes, a couple different classes that will allow them to get into veterinary school. Animal anatomy and physiology just fascinates me. I'm so interested in it. It is so cool and it's something different every day. Whereas a pre-med might actually take something like a hardcore neurobiology, um, maybe someone in, that's going into pre-vet might be, you know, they might like the idea of learning more about animal behavior. I think the pre-vet program is something that is relevant to anyone who loves animals and wants to spend the rest of their life working with animals. There's people who just love and would do anything for their animals and there's those people who are kind of like oh yeah I like animals but they but it's not the same it's not that passion and you just either have it or you don't you're not dealing with one person and it's the same anatomy every day you're gonna deal with a bird and a dog and a horse and a cat and a pig and it's just so intellectually stimulating that it's something new every day and it's adventure and that's kind of why I chose that over pre-med The way that the program is designed is actually to, to help them get ready to go to veterinary school. Generally, pre-vet students will major um, in biology, so they're pursuing a bachelor's in biology, and you concentrate in pre-veterinary medicine. You get the requirements to go to uh, vet school. It gets the pre-vet program at Ferris gives a good leeway into getting into MSC or other vet schools that will give you the opportunities you you need to get into your eventual goal of being a vet. I believe that there's a lot of different options. You can go into food animals, um, you can go into large animal, you can go into companion animal, you can go into all kinds of, you can go into research to look at like di new ways of doing things and um, new ways to set things and there's a lot of different avenues but also like you could go into pharmaceuticals for vets, like all kinds of stuff. Really anybody that's in a pre-med or a pre-vet could go to either school. So with that degree, um, they would actually be well qualified to move into any field. End of my sophomore year last year, me and a couple other people, Jamie and Michelle, we got together and we decided we should really start a club and help other people learn, you know, prepare for veterinary school and the reason we started the club was so that we could help people learn and we could make a community out of it and bring the major back. The Pre-Vet RSO is really looking to create a community of people so that um, Dr. Scott doesn't have to be the only one on campus for those Pre-Vet students so that um, Pre-Vet students or people who are interested in Pre-Vet can come and ask us questions about What's, what is the major all about? And, um, so they can really get real answers rather than, oh, well, you can look that up online sort of thing. It definitely helps to have a group of people around you that are in the same boat as you that you can go to, like especially upper class, when you can ask questions about classes or about the tests you have to take or about the um, stuff that you have to do in order to get into that school. So that's definitely helpful. And just to know that people are around to help you if you have any questions with anything, it's just really nice, a nice resource to have. Eventually, I would like to do have my own clinic where I am going out and do, working on exotics, but I have another vet who stays there and does companion animals, so I want to do a little bit of everything. So usually when you get your bachelor's degree for vet school, um, you are just filling out the requirements for vet school, so Ferris will prepare you for that, and that's what you're doing. And once you get into vet school and you get your doctorate in veterinary medicine, which is your DVM, then you can go out and practice being a vet and you need to live your dream.